Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. Dr. Drew, I am the world's new heaviest woman. I weigh 700 pounds. Please help me. Pauline Potter knows that if she does not get serious about shedding the pounds, she may lose everything. Tonight, this 47-year-old mom is here to announce that she needs and wants help. Pauline, thank you for joining us. I so appreciate it. Uh, help me understand why someone would compete for the title of the heaviest woman alive. I knew that I needed help to lose weight, and I wrote to Dr. Phil, Oprah, Dr. Oz, and nobody would hear me or respond. So I decided to get in contact with uh, Guinness Book of World Records, and I thought, okay, I'm already this size. I might as well take advantage of it to get my story out there. So I knew it would be a little bit degrading. Um, I knew I'd get some negative feedback from it, but it was the risk that I wanted to take to get my story out there so that I could get some weight loss help. What weight were you when you decided to take this on, and where are you now? Um, I um, When I got my weight documented, I was 643. That was back in, I think, February. Um, and I, the last time I weighed, I was about 703, and that was a few months ago. But I've been trying to um, eat fruits and vegetables and stuff and make wiser choices, so I'm probably a little bit under 700 now. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really have any way of knowing, but really close to 700, but probably not at 700 right now. Now, that tape we're watching is of you walking just a few feet to the car. We also have some footage of you going to the couch. Let, let's watch. Pauline, we're looking at you here, and you're obviously short of breath, only walking a very short distance. How long do you think your body can withstand this? Um, you know, I, I think that's why I'm here today, is I know I've pushed my body past its limits. Um, I have knee pain every day, and I really need to get this taken care of while I'm still healthy enough to do and, and Pauline, I think people at home want to know, how did this happen? You know, what, what, is this something that had a genetic basis to it, that you didn't pay attention, but? Um, there definitely is genetic. My mom's somewhere in her mid-350. I thought close to four, but I'm not exactly sure. I have several siblings that are over 300. So there is genetics involved, but I'm absolutely not blaming it on genetics. I have a big appetite, I have a sweet tooth, I have definitely overeaten, and I, I do take my blame for it. Well, listen, now you mentioned that your the entire family, your siblings were all overweight. What was your childhood like? Um, my childhood was actually very happy, and I have kind of, um, when I'm saying my siblings that were over 300, there's a little bit of a story to that. My dad was actually married five times, and it's his sibling, the siblings I have with his different wives, there's eight of us, all of that side is over 300 except for one. My direct family that I grew up with, the, my mom, you know, we had five children. Um, not all of them were over th are over 300 at some point, but half of us were kind of chunky. We had a very happy childhood. We celebrated a lot with food, uh, food for every occasion, happy and sad. And how much do you eat now? I mean, what kind of caloric intake do you maintain? You know, I don't really keep track of it, and I'm not trying to be in denial, but I don't really feel like I eat a super, super amount now. I think maybe my metabolism slowed down after I had my son. Um, a lot of times I have bad eating habits as far as I won't eat anything until 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And then I'm really, really hungry, so I'll eat enough for two meals because I'm starving. Um, you know, so I think it's, it's bad managing, it's bad scheduling, and um, it's a combination of things. Are you, are you eating or have, do you have a history of eating high calorie? I mean, there we have a picture of you eating watermelon. You must have, you must have had a period of high caloric intake. I mean, you must have. Um, I love candy. I love sweets. If I could have dessert after breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would do it. Um, I don't know why, but I mean, I, I always love to be munching on, you know, even if it's Jolly Ranchers, just sucking on them while I'm on computer or something. I, 
uh, that's part of the compulsiveness, I think, is that I want to eat or have something in my mouth, even if I'm not hungry. And I know it's a bad thing. Like, I'm not trying to put myself on display as I'm a freak show. Hey, look at me. But I'm just saying it's a bad it's a bad habit that I have developed over the years.